somewhere that sells Japanese Kit Kats that doesn't cost a small fortune. Um, yeah. We it's farm foods, wasn't it? Farm foods um, have got these in stock. These four flavours only. Um, Are farm foods elsewhere other than the UK? Don't know. Probably not. No, I think they are just UK. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been looking to buy a load of Japanese Kit Kats for ages. And <clears throat> the cheapest deal I could find was um, 12 packets of this for £59. Um, but that website also do have currently, because it's Sakura season, Sakura, um, in Japan. And they've currently got um, limited edition flavours such as Saki. But that was eight pound for nine. They didn't have cherry blossom for <clears throat> No, they didn't. They they ha they have cheesecake and things like that, but not cherry blossom. Um, I did find um, if you are interested, um, some canned bread which was secure a salt flavour. Oh, lovely. Okay, I won't buy that. So <clears throat> Japanese Kit Kats. They 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 stray away from the mainstream. That is. They're not normal flavours, are they? They're not all... Although that one doesn't look particularly unusual. That, that's, that sounds a bit too normal. Should we start normal and work our way up? Yeah. <clears throat> so, they're, they're considerably smaller than normal fun-sized Kit Kats as well. Okay. Um, well, that might work for you, then. Yeah. So, there's seven in each. Seven in that one. Oh, ten in that... Sorry, yeah. Ten in that one. Um... I've got some in that one. Oh, seven. And ten. Ten. Okay. So um, apparently this one's a fiftieth anniversary. So whatever. But I think yeah. Let's let's go. Let's go with this one first. Do you want me to Google Lens the packet for yeah, a, for a can, translation? Get a Google Lens soon. So looking at the packaging i'm gonna go out and say it's chocolate orange but also well it says it in english so. because yeah yeah because it says it in english too um right let's go for a little some of the <coughs> some of the packets don't have in any english on it or much english oh well that's they just say chocolate orange. <laughs> but what we'll do is we'll we'll, we'll put um i'll share the, the pictures with you and we'll put we'll put the translations it's even it's even translated kit kat to kit kat kit kat okay so yeah so that one's for you okay shall we share one of these yes because then that will give us an even number afterwards yes yes i agree so per 62 calories per um i assume per packet little two finger packet Wow, they are small. Yeah, they're, they're, they're little fun size numbers. So, um, yeah. And it still does say, have a break, have a Kit Kat, and there's somewhere to put your name on the wrapper for some reason. Fair enough. So, um, okay, let's break this one out. <clears throat> oh! It's very orangey. It's very orangey. They are very miniature. Yeah. I hope you're not hungry. So that's that's what we're looking at. There you go, sir. It said dark chocolate, didn't it? Hmm. It doesn't look like milk. Oh, it just says chocolate coated wafer. It looks darker than milk, but not dark enough to be like 70%. No, there is a little thing on the back, but I'm not quite sure what that means so we'll just leave that for now but it's not an overpowering orange even though it tastes it smells very orangey hmm definitely dark chocolate mm -hmm. oh yeah i'm getting the dry mouth at the end yeah So that's currently our best one. Because <clears throat> we've got nothing else to go on. Okay. What would you like to try next? Well, I think that one ought to be left till last. Yep, yep. 
and I'm not fussed between either of those because I think they're going to taste exactly the same. Do you? Right. Yeah. Should we go for the, the digestive looking one? Yeah. So this is the next one. Um, we'll get the Google lens on to see what it actually tells it. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and say, is it wholemeal biscuit? It'll be something like that, won't it? Okay. Oh, translate. Whole, Whole grain, grain biscuits, biscuits with blessings of barley. Mm -hmm. And in and in um in this in this green circle it says addictive crunchy chips. <laughs> I don't think it says all of that. <laughs> it says addictive trunky tra <laughs> Would you like me to translate? <laughs> It's like that um, video where they try and get um, the couple to, uh, on, a, on a pie restaurant advert saying a beautiful, bakey, flaky, flaky, buttery crust. I can't even say that. Oh. So it's an addictive, <laughs> crunchy texture. <laughs> so, um. No. I can't honestly say that I've ever found the crunchy texture to be addictive before. Well, today is your lucky day. I could well be. There's ten in this one, isn't there's there? Ten so in there's this. enough for one each. <laughs> so good. they could be considerably smaller. Oh no, still this. Oh, they're a bit. Oh, they, they say different things. Oh. Oh, well, we'll, we'll have to translate those. Oh, is it a bit like a penguin when you get a joke on the front? Maybe. If you can hear that, Brenda's playing with her squeaky octopus. Right. Oh, it's even. It's even um, translating Kit Kat there. Right. Okay. So the top one says, "Since the weather is nice, why don't we have lunch in the park?" The weather is nice. And then the other one says, "Health comes first. Oh, they come with like little fortunes on. So um, yeah, I'll um, I'll send you that as well. <clears throat> okay. So, are you ready for your addictive, crunchy texture? I don't know as I'm... I'm, I'm not going to get my hopes up. This doesn't sound very exciting. I'm not going to lie. You, you're not looking forward? These look... It's not that I'm not looking forward to it. It's just, it just sounds really boring. Does it say whether it's... A... Addictive? Yep. Again, it's exactly the same size. Oh, it's got a thicker chocolate on it, I think. That is... A digestive biscuit. Yeah. Coated in chocolate. So it is, in fact, a chocolate digestive. But has it got... It's got the layers, it's got the wafers. Oh. It tastes just like a chocolate digestive. I really like that. That trumps the chop, uh, choppy orange. Yeah. <gasps> I know these taste like pink wafers. Yeah. Insides are a bit gritty. That's actually the chocolate. Is it? Yeah, because something's gritty. I sort of. Eating around it. To it, see what? Yeah. I mean, it's better than the orange. Yeah, because that's just a normal. It's just a normal wafer inside it. So, with with, with what looks like a darker coloured of the pink wafer. Yeah, the crunchiness is in the chocolate. Okay. Okay, so next. It'll have to be that one. This one's English. Well, milk tea. It's got English on it. Let's have a party. I don't think milk tea's going to taste any different. Have you had um, Chinese, Japanese milk tea? No. Or if I have, I don't remember. So I, I have a taste that I'm expecting. It's a ten in this one. Unless it's a seven, so we'll share one. Just in case it's really poor. Okay. Yeah, I, I have suitably low expectations. Oh, the, the packets are all different colours. 
Oh, cute. Fish. We want to, why is one of them in tartan? Not a clue. Because. There's nothing that says tartan like. Japan. Milk tea. Japanese so, milk tea. So yeah, that's our that's our wrapper today. Okay. Still somewhere to write your name. Okay, it's a lighter outside. It's a bit floral. It's better than the orange. I think it's because it's different. The orange one's really boring. Mm. It is a little floral. There is some sort of floral note to it, I will give you that. Essence of fabric conditioner. But it's, it's not, it's similar to the wholemeal biscuit with the addictive crunchy texture, but I'm not convinced it's as good. No, I would agree that the, the digestive one is, is... This one screams Japan though. It does. And I am excited for this. So, that's, that's our wrapper. This is definitely matcha. Oh, 100%. <clears throat> it's um, unlikely to be anything else. So... We will translate it just to make sure. So. Bear with. Oh. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Oh, buns. Um, history, best in history, crispy. Adult sweetness. I'm not really sure what adult sweetness is. In other words, this is so bitter that your child is not going to want to eat this, is my guess. So adult sweetness means it has no sweetness. It's boring. Does it say how much sugar's in it? It probably does. Well, it probably does somewhere. Um, It'll be one of those. Yeah. We'll have a look at that. Oh, hang on. There's uh, enough of these for one each, isn't there? Because there's ten in those. See, so they've got little things on the back, so I don't know what that's, that's telling us about them all. So I don't know if we need to... I mean, there is a lot of information on the packet. Oh, I think we've got inspirational quotes again. Oh, lovely. Do they say the same thing? Significantly shorter than the other ones, though. Oh, no, I think they say the same thing. Uh, no. No. No, they don't. I feel inspired. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Why, why did that... It, it, the bottom one here, so it says adult sweetness again. Yeah. But it translated one of them as adult cough. Oh dear. I think that must have been a mistranslation. Because it's definitely, it's very sure that it's adult sweetness. So you've got, yours says Kit is feeling better. <coughs> Good for Kit. And mine is Kit... You'll be hooked. Wow. I'm sensing these are going to be very green. Yeah, these will be like radioactive green. Or so you'd think. That's rather green. It's rather dark. So that's, there's, that's classic matcha green, that. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's because it was just in the dark. You get a lot of chocolate on this. What I'm, or, I'm hoping for um, in, in any of my Kit Kat eating sort of experiences 
is to have the forbidden Kit Kat because it happens and it happens quite a bit apparently is the Kit Kat where it's got no wafer in. I'd love for the forbidden Kit Kat to... Oh wow, that's matcha. It's also, it's also got that crunchy addictive texture. Yeah, that is matcha. It's rank. Adult sweet. <laughs> That is grim as. See, I don't mind matcha tea. I do like a matcha latte. I mean, I could eat a small amount of it, but that is about it. So that's not on your list? It's not on my list. All things considered. That's quite like that. Yeah. It's not sweet enough for me. No adult, no adult sweetness. No, apparently I don't like adult sweetness. <laughs> See, I, I like those two. So that I would go one, two, three, four for me. You put that all the way up here. <coughs> that would be my rundown. I mean, to be fair, those two are very close. Yeah, no, I'm good, thanks. It's got that gritty, as you described it, texture in the chocolate again. But you can see bits of matcha in the chocolate. What are your thoughts? Your, yours is, like, way down down, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I mean, if we'd forgotten to buy it, I wouldn't have been sad. The line is a dot to you, that, that kind yeah, of... Yeah, I mean, that is just fucking grim. Not for me. So, if we can find any other reasonably priced matcha products to oh, me to think that well, that too. I was actually there's a there's a there's a matcha and ginger latte in the cupboard. If you want to try one of those, I think I've had one of those before. Have you? I think so. Um, um, I don't think I like matcha. No, you're not a fan of matcha, but um. Yeah, if we can find any other reasonably priced Kit Kats, Japanese Kit Kats to try. Mm -hmm. I think I think this is this is A one series that... potentially, like the Snickers. Yeah. And the Jammy Dodgers. We have got other new flavours of Jammy Dodgers that we need to add to the Yeah. To the, we need to make playlists. Yeah. Motion detected at the Lady Garden. So there you go. Well, I think that wraps that <laughs> up really. <laughs> so yeah, if you like that, great. Um I didn't like the matcha. Oh, I quite like that. Almost to the point that I think we might need to order a Starbucks in today. No? To be we'll, fair, it's we'll usually, to be fair, usually it's cold by the time it gets to us, which is mm. shocking considering it's literally just around the, the corner. corner. Anywho, thanks for watching. Go to Farm Foods and try it yourself. If you can find any other cheaply well, more reasonably priced ones. We will, we will, we are more than willing to try it. But yeah, um, other than that, we'll see you next week. Bye, love you, bye.